What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Headed back up to the lake today. Man, it is looking rainy outside. We got little pop-up storms all over the place. But today's my birthday. I know when y'all see this, it'll probably be way after my birthday. Well, probably not way after. It'll be a few days because I ain't made a video in a while because I'm a horrible YouTuber. But we, uh, we're going up here to the lake, guys. We're going to try to catch some fish. Probably make a couple of videos up here. I got something else I'm going to talk about when I'm up here and, and some other stuff. But we're headed up here, guys. We're going to try to do some... Just some fishing today, guys. It's my birthday. I gotta catch something. I catch a bluegill, a guppy. I catch a turtle. If it, no, I don't like catching turtles. That ain't cool. But we'll catch some bass probably. I appreciate y'all guys for watching. I'm gonna drive up here and get off the phone. I appreciate y'all. Let's go fishing. Well, guys, we made it up here. It's not raining really hard at all, but it's storm. Like it hit lightning, hit like real close. I come get in the car. I'm gonna wait a minute. I don't like that lightning. It is raining pretty steady though but we're just gonna wait a minute because i don't want no lightning in the water and the boat and it ain't no good so we're gonna hang out here for just a minute wait it out and then we're gonna get in the water guys so let's go let's give it a minute guys it's raining and storming it's the best lighting here back this way this way this looks all right um yeah we're just gonna keep on keeping on until we can't and hopefully not bad happen but um we're gonna just fish hopefully the storm will kind of pass one went over then another one so we'll see what happens man something big jumped out there that might have been a muskie Saying, Steve, come catch me. I heard him say, did y'all hear that? I know y'all heard that. That's spooky right there. I don't like that. I don't like that at all, <laughs> guys. I'm just kind of like, I don't know if I should be out here or not. I'm like, oh, no. I don't want to be a shish kebab on the, on the old lake out here. All right, guys, let's fish for a little bit. Look at that, guys. I was over there, and then I kind of like lightning hit next to me. And Right now, now it's freaking pouring rain. Look at that, man, that looks cool. I don't know what that is, but it looks freaky. Going over the mountain over there. Look at it, oh my goodness. It's awesome. It's scary a little bit. God, it is pouring down the rain. Holy moly macaroni. I don't know, guys. They ain't turning out too great so far. I might catch a big one now. Only good thing is if I hang out, if there's no more storms, which hell, I don't know at this point, they just keep popping up, that it might not be, won't be no damn people around here. Oh, <laughs> God. Tell they're off gone now. I don't know where anyway. God, I'm getting soaking wet. Look at that. I think I turned it around. I didn't even turn the camera off. Dang it. It's raining, guys. I don't know what I'm doing up here. It's thunder and lightning. Crazy. It's raining. I gotta check real quick. Hold up, guys. I gotta check this out. I'm not freaking out a little bit. I gotta make sure that this isn't the first of more, or hopefully the last. I don't know. Let me check. Oh, it's bad that way. Most of that's gone that way, though. Let's just fish for a minute, guys. Let's see if we can't catch something while we're just sitting here, at least. So, all right, guys, let's, let's do some fishing. Maybe. I don't know how long I'm going to do this. It's getting sketchy. It's getting sketchy, boys. I ain't lying about panfish time, guys. Hope y'all can see. I don't know if y'all can or not. 
It's been a whopper, flopper, flop day today. Due to the fact that it's storming. I got up here and I was like, ah, it's not bad today. And it said rain at like 8 o'clock. And I was like, I'll be all right. <clears throat> I'm like, I'll be all right. I can catch some fish, hang out, make a video or two. And then sure enough, it just starts storming as soon as I get up here. It just starts storming. But the pot gives you, gives you lemonade. You make Kool-Aid with it. That's what I do with it. I make Kool-Aid. Look at that little bluegill. Pretty little fish. Look at him. He's like, hey, it ain't so bad above water. It's wet up here. It ain't like that all the time as the bluegill. It ain't like that all the time. Normally it's nice and dry. That is freaky sounding. Hard rain. Anyway. God, it's rain. <laughs> Help me! Dude! As long as they don't start hailing. If it starts hailing, man, it's going to be a rough day. Good lord. I don't have my rain stuff on it. Yeah. I don't mind to get wet, but dang. I think I am getting wet. There's one. Haha, <laughs> another bluegill. We're getting the wet bluegills, boys. I don't know how good y'all can see. Dang, he jumped right in the net. Come here, buddy. Don't poke me, please. Look at that bluegill. He don't even know he's out of water. He don't even realize. He's like, hey, man. This guy's wet. It is raining. It is raining. It's not kind of raining. It is raining. It's freaking poor. Oh, Lord. Fish are biting, though. <laughs> Fish are biting. I don't know how well y'all can see anything because the lens is so wet. I could probably see better if I went underwater. Out my spot out here, but Whew. there's a good one. There's a good one, boy. <clears throat> birthday bluegill, right there. Happy birthday to me. Fishing in the rain. I don't mind, though, really. I don't mind the rain, it could pour all day. I don't even care about it. It's the, it's the lightning and the wind and the thunder that freaks me out. Ain't that right, Mr. Bluegill? We'll see you later, buddy. He's pretty. Look at him. Pretty as Bluegill. Whoa, Lord, what are you doing? He tried to get me. He tried to get me a birthday kiss. I've seen him do it. Too much for staying dry. All my pots is over here getting wet, darn it. That's why I like this box. That's why I bought this box. It's waterproof. You tackle like that, laying out in the thing. I'm gonna have to leave it and air it out. One good thing though, I have to say about all this, is it's cool out here. <laughs> it's not hot. That's a plus. Alright guys, let's run around. See if I can't. Put a fish in the boat. I'm gonna switch over to my little Helgramite here. Cause I got the mad confidence with it.
I seen him. I thought I seen him come up. He took that so lightly. That was weird. Oh, he come off. God, that was that was a weird bot. It's like I seen something come out. He didn't pop that hard. He just come up and took it. Well, guys, we've been fishing. The rain is over with for the time being. It's cleared up. We caught, not really. We had that one bass hit and it come off. And then I got that little one. And he kind of popped off, which I didn't care. But um, let's just keep fishing, guys. Let's run around the corner and see what we can do. Let's just keep going. I'm soaking wet. But I'm going to keep going. There's a good one. I him thump. That's a pretty good one, it feels like. That's a good one. That's a good one. Best one of the day. For sure. Best one of the day. That's a good spot. Pumped off the leaf spot. They, just, they do not sit still. They're so mean. Mean, man. Mean on spot. Pretty fish, though. Mean. Man, that guy's mean. He tore the elgrim right up. It's a good spot. Teeth. Beautiful fish. That was a cool looking spot. Let's let him go. See you, buddy. See you, buddy. Thump the Helgram. I can feel it just go thump. The old thump. The old thumper rump. Well, guys, we fished. We've caught a few fish, but not really. Maybe we'll catch a good one right here. Back in this spot. You keep it out of the... Drop the anchor down. I'm going to do a little pan fish. Waterfall's pretty coming down there. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. He just hit it hard, I think. These little ones, man, they be hitting hard. He's not too bad. He's not very big, but decent spot. And that spot has some hellaciously sharp teeth. I mean, look at these things. I'm about to show y'all with my camera. Maybe y'all can see that. Look at that. Sharp teeth that thing's got. Sharp, sharp, sharp little teeth. Let him go, a little bass. He's bust as fuck, man. They hit so hard. I'd like catch one about three times bigger than that one, but I'm not complaining. Any bass that hits the whopper plopper that hard is worth catching. Oh, there's a good one. He's little, I think. He jammed it, though. As the rain began, he ain't too super big. Actually, he ain't big at all. He's tiny, but we'll take him. It's raining, guys. I gotta put my door back on my thing. Little bass. Let him go. Oh, it's pouring, guys. Hold up. Oh, guys, it is raining. Raining good. I ran through my batteries. I have my external battery hooked up and I have to keep the door off. And um, I've run out of my other batteries. They didn't charge that battery enough to film any more in the rain, unfortunately. And it's almost getting to that time. It said it's supposed to rain about seven o'clock, start storming. And um, we look like we've made it to that point. I might call it a day. I don't, if I can't film, kind of i mean i like fishing without filming but actually i've gotten to the point now where i, I feel like i can't fish without filming but um i don't know what to do guys i'm just hanging out we're just gonna hang out in the rain feels good i ain't hearing no thunder and lightning so that's a plus let me see what i can do guys maybe we'll keep on maybe we'll keep on keeping on Let's see if i got another battery in here guys well unfortunately this 
part of the video, I have lost power. I thought I lost the video, but thank God I didn't. I just lost the power. But uh, what happened was, is it rained for a little bit, and I, I just kind of chilled for a little bit, and I ate me a little peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And then the rain lit up, and I started fishing again, throwing that whopper plopper. Uh, threw up in it. It's a cool little section here up in the river. I thought it was awesome. I went back in here, and as soon as I got back in here, I threw, and I caught a fish. He kind of got wrapped over there, and I bring him in. And um, there he is. Look at him in all his glory. I actually kind of messed this fish up. And that's one thing using the whopper plopper is it really, when they're smaller fish, because naturally the, the bass will, will hit the whopper plopper at the head just like they would a bait fish to swallow it. And a lot of times that back hook will get wrapped around and mess their back up or mess their side up. That one actually got him really bad. That was the worst one I've done in a while. It always makes me feel bad when I do it because they're such a beautiful fish, but... Um, that is the that's the downside of using the whopper plopper. If they're a little smaller, a lot not all the time, but a lot of times you'll end up kind of sticking them in the side. Most of the time it won't be that bad. It'll just kind of barely hook there because most of the pressure is on that front hook. But if they whip around a lot, they will get it. He got it pretty bad. And that's kind of what I was talking about here is this you know that back hook and how it will catch them. That whopper plopper I'm using is a, a heck I can't even think of what it's called. It's like a gill. It's it's the bluegill pattern or wait no it's the perch pattern the whopper plopper to me it kind of looks like a bluegill and a lot of these fish up in here they eat bluegill a lot of fish eat bluegill so i thought it kind of looked like a bluegill person i don't know i'm rambling but look how cool it looks back through there i just knew there would be a bass in there i like threw back in there and man i got crushed and it's very unfortunate that i lost the audio of this because i was on hop street at this point i was like freaking out because that bass is pulling so hard and there's a bunch of brush right there and he just kept getting like tangled up in it and i was fighting him and he's just whooping he's whooping me man i'm i'm, I'm, I'm doing everything i can to keep that bass on i'm freaking out because i know he's big like, I was like, this is the biggest bass I've caught in a while. I can tell. I can feel it. It's my birthday, so I'm thinking, man, if I lose this fish, then I lost a big bass on my birthday, and I was like, if I could pull this out, it's going to be awesome. But I'm like, at this point, I'm trying to move my trolling motor, but I forgot my power pole was down. But thank goodness I actually got him out of the brush, and I got him out, man. I, I pulled him in. I was so happy. I was, I was, I was really happy at this point. <laughs> It was actually a lot of fun. I And that goes to show, you know, I, I got out that day and it was raining so much and pouring and I could have left at any point, but I just kept I just kept sticking it out. And by sticking it out, I ended up catching a nice bass. Best bass I've caught in a little while. I'm looking down his throat because he's got like mud down there. I don't know if he opened his mouth and I pulled him through some, some who knows what, a little mud or something there. But all right, guys, at this point, I actually take the bass over and thank goodness I actually talked about him. Well, guys, I came all the way back over here. Well, it wasn't far. Just around the corner here. Show you all this bass. It's my birthday bass. It's a big bass. It's a good bass. I'm very happy to have this bass. This is my birthday bass. Biggest bass I've caught in a while. Beautiful fish. Man, it's been a rough... Well, it ain't been that bad of a day. Actually, it's been a cool and the sun just so happened to come out and blind me right my... Hold up, guy. This is my birthday bass. Very happy about this bass. Biggest one I've caught in a while. Awesome. Love it. Beautiful big bass. Let's let him go. He's been through enough. He's looking at me like, come on, man. It's time to go. Let's take a couple pictures. Well, I'll just take snapshots of this video. My GoPro, it's finally kicked the boot. But, man, we got this beautiful bass. I'm going to let it go. It's beautiful. Do a little semi-underwater let go here. I've had it in here for a little bit. I put it in the live well and brought it over here. I just caught it over there. So, beautiful fish. Let's let well, guys, as I was letting the fish go, I hit the darn, I don't know, I guess because it's wet, I hit the button. I hit it. It was cool, too, because I could see it on the screen here of it swimming away. It looks so good. But I'm glad that I got the bass because when I got up here, my GoPro, when I was done, was not on when I caught that fish. And I got over here, and I was like, oh, no, I didn't even get the video. But I checked it. The video's there. I don't know if the audio's there, though. The audio might be completely jacked up due to the rain, so I don't know if I even have audio on it. But at least I got the video of me catching it. Man, I appreciate y'all guys. I'm going to think. I'm just like, I'm kind of tore right now because I'm hungry and I've been here all day. The fishing is good. The weather is nice. But I think I'm going to call it a day, guys. I caught some good fish today. I had a good time. It was a nice day. It just goes to show sometimes you just got to stay the course. Now, I'm not saying, like, 
go out. I'm not promoting like hanging out when it's storming. Don't do that. But I'm just saying in life, you got to stay the course. Sometimes things seem horrible and they're rough. But if you stick in there, you'll get a birthday bass, a big one. That was a good size bass. He wasn't gigantic, but he was decent. He was good for this lake. That's for, that's a fact. But I appreciate y'all for like for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I think I'm gonna go home and eat some chocolate cake. Find something to eat on. So I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all guys next time. See y'all guys later. See you. <laughs>